He doesn't give up on us. That's right. Amen. Never leaves us, nor forsakes us, Brother Carl. Amen. Brother Carl, what, how would you feel when you were in the hospital? What did Christ mean to you when you were in the hospital? I call on, like Sarah said, that song, but also nothing impossible, God. And I know the great position is.
Yeah. You're gonna hear the yell, shout, spin all over Delaware. He created man in his own image. 
He loved man. He always gave us a way to get safety. He brought Noah, brought the ark. Only Noah, his wife, three sons, and three daughters were saved. Eight people and two of each animal. And I want you to understand, God has always provided a way to get out of a situation that you're in. Thank you, Jesus. I deal with folks that they've just had it. Their minds are just had it. They've got so much on them. I said, give it to God. Amen. He created our minds. He knows our minds. He knows what you're going through. If you've got a good family, a good wife, a good husband, uh, man, be happy what God has given you. Amen. You've got a free country so far that I pray that we always so we can sing that song that we just sang here a little bit ago. We're in trouble, folks. But that's the Bible fulfilling. I don't care. I don't care who's in that other be up there. The Bible is fulfilling in this country and in the world today. That's what's happening, folks. When you read Revelations, read of what the end times are going to be. Read it. Go over in 2 Timothy 3 1. Read about how perilous times. We're in perilous times. Yes, we are. <laughs> I've got pictures. I didn't want to get close to any car license plates or people's faces, but I took pictures of Tuesday night food pantry. Amen. Every space out here was full. People in the new parking lot would come in and go around. They were parked. When we would leave this parking lot, they would take the place. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you, we are living in a time when Christians, we better bind together. Right. Churches, stay in there and fight the fight. Finish the court. Keep your faith. That's right. Amen. It's going to get tough. It's going to get tough. How many of you tried to get a new car? Somebody, how many, how many can you get it right now at the law? There ain't none. There ain't no chips for it. One. At least said there's one he found. What's happening? The Bible's fulfilling. Yes, it is. It's going to get bad. Now I'm going to be honest with you. The Bible, we're just at the cuffs of the beginning of trip, brother. We're just getting close to that trip. We're not there yet, but we're getting closer to that beginning where people don't have nothing to eat. Where people can't eat, I tell people, I said, stock you up a little bit. I ain't saying go crazy. But have a month supply of something to eat. If you have to eat, if you have to eat macaroni and cheese, eat it. Amen. Yes. You know what? It'll fill you up and, and it'll cost as much, but it, that's a dollar box, isn't it? Amen. Yes. Oh, dollar twenty-five. We're not twenty-five cents. We're not twenty-five cents. Now listen. How many of us today can see the Bible fulfilling? Amen. Amen. China building up. Russia building up. Those countries. There's only one two hundred million man army in the world that can do that. And they're going to come against Israel. And who is that? China. Right. We can't fill 200 million man army in this country. We just can't do it. But China can. Don't forget ISIS. Yeah. We'll take care of them people. <laughs> but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. I don't know about you, but I have faith to believe that when you get saved, you've got a God that loves you enough that's going to help you and take care of you. And we as a group that love each other are going to stand together, help each other, get through the hard times that's coming our way. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I told a pastor that this church helped 36 or 38 families Tuesday. He said, there ain't no way. What? I said, yes, there's a way. You come and watch us. Amen. God's done it. God's been good to this little church. Amen. Amen. 
And now when you see them little kids happy about some green beans, Brother Russell, that makes you happy. Yes, it does. But we're living in the last days. Where do we stand with God right now? How close are we to God? The Bible says you can go draw close to God. He draws near to you. Amen. I'm trying to get as close as I can to God. I'm trying my best to live as close as I can. I want everybody to just love each other. Help one another. No criticisms. And I'm telling you, the devil, he tries his very best to get people down today, to get them to give up today. Brother Dorsey, you said last Sunday you went to a church before the pandemic, you had about 250. Yeah. When, what, how much did it have last Sunday morning when you were there? 60. Maybe 60. That's one of the bigger churches in that denomination. Um, What has the devil done? Our Lord is calling on us to stay strong. We got to be a witness. Amen. I've got to witness to people. Well, I'm able to do it. I've got to tell them the only hope you have is God. Right. Amen. I see people discouraged. I see people depressed. I see people anxious, anxiety. And I say, give it to God. Give it to Him. Let it off. Get it off of you. If you don't, you're going to get down. You're going to be in the hospital. And you ain't going to be no good for anybody. Let go, let go. Let go, let go. Yeah. See, the thing is, I love people. I want people to have food. Don't you? Yes. I want people to have a decent life. Don't we? Yes. When I see our elders, now I'm going to tell you, this is like this. When I see elders that I visit splitting their medicine in half, yeah. right now, I told those folks, we have a food pantry. And it, it may not be exactly, but as long as it's in your diet that you have to be on, and if it ain't, you got a few things you need, we can go out and get those things for you that you can eat for your diet that you have to be on. Yeah. Yeah. Our elders work 40, 50 years for this country, and we have to help take care of them. Amen. Yes. I, I love these elders. They tell me all the time, I can't do anything. I say, yes, you can. You can pray. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. You can be positive. Yes, you can. You can call on the phone. Say, come on, folks. Come on. But Jesus gave his life for you and I. Jesus gave it all for you and I. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave his life for us. Let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. See, the thing I love about the Lord, I'm not to look at this one, that one, this one. I'm to examine Donnie. Yes. Because you know where you stand with God. Amen. I don't. I told my wife. I said, I've never seen a period of time. Every time I have to go to the hospital in Columbus, people will bump on me, get right behind me, come by me, use some kind of language, hand-wise. <laughs> it's changed. There's, people have no patience today. That's true. No peace. Just no patience. They, just, they don't care. Now, if, I was thinking if that would have been someone maybe 85, 90, scared them to death. They were scared to death. Folks, the love of Jesus Christ, the greatest of all things, is charity. Love. This man named Jesus came from the glories of heaven. Born to a virgin Mary with the Holy Spirit. Grew up under a carpenter's son. 
saw everything that you and I are going through right now in our lives. He saw it as a human being for 33 years. People tell me all the time, I don't think I can make it. Yes, you can. Jesus said, I made it. You can make it. He says, I left you with the comfort of the Holy Spirit. When I went back to God, I left you the Holy Spirit that lives here. Who guides us, who directs us, who helps us, who's there for us. Holy Spirit. Who gets us up off our feet when we're down the valley? Holy Spirit. The devil is trying his best to discourage the Christian people today. I'm in, we're in battle, folks. I've never been more and more of a battle to try to keep Christians in services as I am right now. I've never been in a time when I see people hurting like I do right now. I've never been in a time. I was talking to some folks that are up in their 90s. They said, we've never seen nothing like what's going on. But he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Two more verses. Now, I want you to understand that as we come here today and take of this communion, I pray with all my heart that each one of you have that are born again, that know God in their lives. But before I do that, I'm going to have an altar call. And I want you all to know I want you all to know. 33 and 34 says, Wherefore, my brethren, when we come together, eat tarry one for another, love each other. If any man hunger, let him eat at home. And ye that come not together unto condemnation. Now, this is this, is this last sentence. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Will you come? Will you come? 